So that the full statement from President Trump in the immediate uh, aftermath of that missile launch, former British ambassador to Syria, Peter Ford, is with me now. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Can I just draw your attention first to the opening part of that statement from President Trump? He said, my fellow Americans, on Tuesday, Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad launched a horrible chemical weapons attack on innocent civilians. It's a statement of fact. It's a statement, a misstatement of non-fact. We don't know. Uh, what's needed is an investigation. Because there are two possibilities for what happened. One is the American version that Assad dropped chemical weapons on this locality. The other version is that an ordinary bomb was dropped and it hit a munitions dump. The jihadis were storing chemical weapons. We don't know which of these two possibilities is the correct one. Remember the run-up to Iraq. The experts, the intelligence agencies, the politicians were convinced that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. They produced reams of evidence, photographs, diagrams. It was all wrong. It was all wrong. It's possible that they're wrong in this instance as well, that they are just looking for a pretext to attack Syria. And let's not deceive ourselves. What has happened makes more use of chemical weapons more likely, not less. Well, the, the sentiment that you're talking about there chimes most um, amongst international reaction to what happened, the chemical attack, with what Russia is saying. You chime most with them. We heard from Michael Fallon, the Defence Secretary. He is convinced by the evidence sufficient that he backs uh, this action. Why is it then that you are, if you like, a relatively well, lone well, I, voice? I, I don't leave my brains at the door when I examine a situation uh, analytically. Uh, I try to be objective. Uh, and based on previous experience, including uh, Iraq, uh, we can see that we cannot take at face uh, value what the so-called intelligence experts tell us, not when they have an agenda. Uh, but uh, come back to the main point. That it's not going to end here. And we are likely, Britain, to be dragged into it because Trump has just given the jihadis a thousand reasons to stage fake flag operations. Seeing how successful and how easy it is with a gullible media to uh, provoke uh, the West into intemperate reactions, they will very likely stage an operation similar to what they did, and this was documented by the United Nations in August last year. They mounted a chlorine gas attack on civilians and they tried to make it look like it was a regime operation. This, mark my words, you, you're hearing it here. And it will happen and we'll get all the, the warmongers coming to tell us that, that Assad is defying us and we must go in more heavily into Syria. This will be fake flag. If I can just ask you, your expertise, you're a former, it's worth saying, a former British ambassador to Syria, uh, with your knowledge of Bashar al-Assad and his regime, that country, what do you think his reaction to this will be? Uh, uh, Assad may be cruel, uh, brutal, but he's not mad. It defies belief that he would bring this all on his head for no military advantage. The site that was hit had no military significance. Uh, it made absolutely no sense. Well, in a way, we're going back to the, the previous Russians. argument. He My would question angered, is more about what happened. He would happens. have angered the Russians if, if for no other reason. This is simply not plausible. But how will his behaviour change? Now he knows President Trump is prepared to launch cruise missile attacks. But he did, probably didn't do it in the first place. So it can't change his behavior if he didn't do it in the first place. But we will all pay the consequences. The oil price will spike. Uh, very likely there will be more, more use, not less use, of CW as a result of this. And this is also important. The Russians and the Syrians will give less cooperation in the fight against ISIS. OK. Peter Ford, thank you very much for coming in for us this morning. Peter Ford is a for former British ambassador to Syria.